So let's begin. What is the ASF? Uh, and the best way to describe what the ASF is to just think of us as an umbrella. We are a collection of projects. We provide services to those projects. The foundation exists so the developers, the people can do what they want to do. Again, let, let's have fun. Show of hands. Who likes to worry about legal and trademark protection? Oh, you do? Really? All right. Who likes to worry about fundraising, right? These are services that the foundation provides so the projects can have their own thing. They can, they can do their thing. So uh, that's what we do. And we very much believe that a project isn't just a project. It's a community of people. That's what we care about on the board. We worry that are our projects healthy because their community is healthy or not? Is the community getting together well? Is it vendor neutral? Uh, we worry about the people because if everybody's happy and everybody's getting along well, we can all agree there's going to be some good stuff coming out of that, right? That's what's most important to us. Uh, and I can talk for, I don't know, at least an hour probably about the history of the ASF and why it came to be that way. But suffice to say, project our community. What we're doing right here, this is the community, right? So let's make some software and change the world while we do it. So speaking a little bit about our project, we have a lot of them. I actually don't know how many. Most of us don't know how many because it changes often. We have a lot of projects come and go. Somewhere north of 300, would you say, Sam? Um, we have many, many different projects of many, many different types with many, many different programming languages. And we change lots of stuff all the time across those many, many different projects. And they interact in very interesting ways. So by show of hands, who's, uh, who's interested in the big data scene? There are a ton of projects in the big data scene that are interrelated at the Apache Software Foundation. If we were to cut just that out, you could see the different relationships between the different projects. We have a number of projects, sub-projects uh, in many different areas. So I encourage folks to check out projects.apache.org and get a feel for what these things are. So what do we do? We are software for the public good. I'm going to break a rule. I'm going to read the slide to you, which you're not supposed to do. Everybody says that's terrible, but this is important to get right. We at the ASF provide software for the public good. We do this by providing services and support, like I kind of mentioned earlier, for many like-minded software project communities of individuals who choose to join the ASF. And we mean every last bit of it. We're here because it's better for the entire world. We really do believe that. And it's really hard when you have folks that, you know, believe in doing something better for the entire world. It's really hard to pick up people in that community that aren't very good people. We genuinely have great people. I'm joined by several of my colleagues at the ASF, and we just actually like to hang out with them. It's pretty neat. So how do we do it? We have this open collaborative framework. We kind of call it the Apache way, uh, which Sam is going to talk about actually after this talk. Uh, so I won't spend a, a ton of time, but when we say open, we mean open. Everything happens in the open. No decisions are made behind closed doors. We put everything we do on mailing list. Yeah, email. We still use it. It's cool. And then we store that forever. So if we ever need to know, why did we change Hadoop? do this new thing that it's doing. Oh, we can always go back and understand why. And the benefit of it being in the open is it gives everybody the opportunity to participate in that discussion. We are all equal in the foundation. No one person has a bigger say than any other person. Because we're all friends, right? I kind of mentioned also earlier, we view our projects. We don't just view them. They are communities of people. So we genuinely have this this tagline that we believe, again, community over code. What's most important is that the community is firing on all cylinders. 
right? We are getting together from time to time. We're working on the project. Um, the foundation does not choose which projects win or lose. In fact, if you go to projects.apache.org, you will find several projects that actually compete with each other. That's cool. Did they have a community? Is it healthy? Are they producing software? Great. We want them. And I'm not even going to try to describe the Apache way. We could probably be in here for maybe, what, five, six more days uh, to fully understand it. Uh, so Sam's going to talk about that next. Uh, but this is, this is the core ethos of who we are and what we do. Um, we use the term meritocracy to describe how people participate. So contribution, that's what earns you merit. And a contribution is not just a code commit. A contribution is holding a meetup. A contribution is joining the mailing list and helping other users. A contribution is fixing typos and documentation. Look, open source software is, I would say, some of the best, if not the best software in the world. Sometimes we don't do a good job with documentation. Yeah. So contributions. That is our current folks supporting our projects in any way that they can. And we value all contributions in the same way. It's great that you made a code commit. It's great that you helped meet up. It's great that you're hanging out on the mailing list. That's how people get more and more engaged and involved and they earn merit in the foundation. And that merit never expires. We are a volunteer run foundation. There are a lot of folks that are paid to work on projects at PASF by their employer, but we are at our heart volunteer, right? I'm vice president of middleware at MasterCard. My title is not ASF. That's who pays my paycheck. So sometimes I get busy. I imagine everybody here has lives, families, and things just as complex as my life. People come, people go, but the good that you've done the things that you've done to make us all better collectively, that never goes away. Never, ever. So take a one-year break. Take a two-year break. Heck, we, have, uh, we had a keynote from uh, at Apache Conference, someone who's been kind of out of the community, very busy for a couple of years. But that person is still highly valued. Always will, right? Because this merit, the things that you've done, well, you can't undo them. So why would you forget about them? Merit never expects. So we talked about legal shelter and, and I think one person was joking when he raised his hand that he'd like to worry about this. Um, one of the things that we do, the foundation does provide legal protect, brand protections for the project because like it or not, that's the world we live in. People sue people, companies sue companies. Uh, we exist to make it easy and possible for those that want to contribute can do that. So these are some of the services that we offer. We take care of legal. We take care of trademark. Contributions to the foundation are tax deductible, at least in terms of the United States tax law, or a 501c3. And this is one of the things that I really like. You look at a lot of the open source software foundations out there. I'm not saying we're better. I'm not saying we're worse. One of the things that you'll see about a 501c3 is these are charities. It is not a trade consortium. We really are here to make the world a better place, right? So a 501c3 is, I mean, it's similar in, in ways to, I want to say even churches or something along those lines. Whereas a 501c6, the more common open source type of foundation is a trade federation. Uh, and we like to avoid the possibility of undue corporate influence in our project. So 501c3, that's what's right for us. Uh, we believe very much in neutrality. How can a community kind of grow if there is this external influence forcing decisions or, uh, you know, would it really be open if there was a company behind the scenes pulling the string, strings? Probably not. So we very, very aggressively defend are uh, independent. Halfway there. Let's see how we do. 
So how do we achieve our mission? All right, so some of the stuff that we do, well, we provide infrastructure. As I mentioned earlier, the foundation doesn't say, you know what, today's a good day to bring on a new big data project. It, does, it doesn't happen that way. We provide services, we provide infrastructure. Uh, we provide sites and servers and archives. Uh, we, we provide the tooling like uh, issue trackers and bug trackers and stuff like that. We provide these things and projects want to come consume them. Awesome. There's that word again, awesome. As I mentioned earlier, we're volunteer oriented. Everything, uh, I, I wouldn't say everything, just about the entire foundation. The foundation proper, our governance structure is entirely based around volunteers. We have a number of people uh, that are paid by the foundation and that's because we'll take another survey. Who likes to wake up at 3 a.m. when the server crashes? Oh, that's what I did for a very long time. Never really liked it, but it's kind of funny. Um, so we have people that support the foundation uh, that we do pay. Otherwise, we're all volunteers. Our entire board, 100% volunteers. Our president, executive vice president, our officer, all volunteers. There's one exception. And going back to, I love this, uh, I love this, this no leaders, only doers kind of mentality, right? This is, we kind of talked about that, about meritocracy. Those that do things are those that are asked to do more, which kind of doesn't sound fair to that person, but you know, this is how you, how you get involved. Just do stuff. As I mentioned, every contribution that you could potentially do is valuable. So do stuff. As you do, you can do more. So that's kind of some of the model that uh, I think Joan's going to talk about when she starts describing how you can get involved, stuff like that. See Joan's talk. We are a membership-based, um, or uh, not organization, corporation, sorry. It's uh, membership-based, which means if you do enough stuff, we say, well, clearly you're one of us. Will you do like to be a member? And that gives you the right to vote on the board of directors uh, and join our mailing list and participate in really long and complicated and interesting email discussion. It's kind of an inside joke, but it, it really is uh, uh, an incredible group of people. We're somewhere near uh, more than 700 members now. So I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about the license. Um, we have some folks in the room familiar with open source. Uh, how do we feel about licensing? Do, do we understand all the differences and the nuances of licensing and stuff like that? If not, I'm holding office hours later. Love to talk to you about that. But I'll tell you just a quick summary for the Apache Software Foundation. The Apache license version two is a permissive license, which means open and closed derivatives are fine. If a company wants to take the software we're providing them, close it up and sell it, Cool, fine. They don't even have to open it up. Redistribution is okay. If a company wants to take the software we provide and just turn around and sell it, cool. If a person wants to fork the code base and just without making any further changes upstream or downstream, also cool, that's fine. A couple of looks around the room like, why can't do that? We can talk about that. That's, that's the way we feel uh, to be the most open, right? Uh, we do require attribution in the license. So if you're going to take this thing that we provide and you, you, you know, turn around and sell it, just say we got it from here first. And, and that's cool. And it's not even a very aggressive form of attribution that we have. Uh, it includes a patent grant, which is very unique in open source license. Um, you can't take the software or I can't open source software that implements a packet or a patent and then turn around and sue you for use. I mean, that seems kind of common sense, but sometimes nasty corporations try stuff like that. The Apache license do prevents that. Um, another interesting thing explicitly mentioned in the license is if you receive this software as Apache 2 license and you offer a contribution, you don't have to explicitly say, this is licensed to you under this term. 
by default Apache 2. You can recon you can contribute back in a different form, but by default it's and then finally, it's GPL v3 compatible. GPL is a, another very, very popular open source license. Uh, so we, we get along in one direction with GPL. This is how we're organized. Does it look complicated? It's actually not. We're a very flat organization. Uh, and I, I think Sam's going to talk about some of this at about 5.30. Uh, but suffice to say, we have board of directors. And that is elected by the members. The board is responsible for representing the will of the members uh, and also to get yelled at by the members and uh, hang out with the members at ApacheCon and all of that stuff. The board selects the president, who selects multiple vice presidents for different areas. And that is, that is the extent of our governance structure. Otherwise, the project, the kind of down here, that's where our organization is. Those different projects have a vice president who is responsible to, uh, on a quarterly basis, just report to the board and say, hey, our community's healthy, not being run by this one company. Um, here's what we've done that is interesting. Here's what we're thinking about, that sort of stuff. And the board reads those reports every month. We have staggered quarterly reports. So it looks, it looks complicated, but it's a very, very flat organization. More stuff. I'm kind of flying through things. Uh, I'll try to save a little time for questions. If not, I'll be in the halls and stuff. Uh, so we have the incubator, which is how projects come into the ASF. Uh, and I'm not going to spend much time talking about that. We're just going to talk about it around five. I think she is, right? Cool. Awesome. We also have a place that projects go when there isn't a community around them anymore. I mean, there are projects out there that were very popular at one point and just not around anymore. So we offer a way for those projects to get collected into one space. And we call that the attic. The code remains open. It's all there. The records, the discussion, there's just no community anymore. Maybe someday later, a community will return or that code lived on in another. We facilitate we also have lab where just one big project. If you're a committer on any project, you have access to the labs and you can play around. Just a place to play, right? A little bit more than, or I'm sorry, a, a little bit less than the incubator, not a full on project, just a uh, scratch box. And then this is, I won't say it's all boring. I mean, because I do, I do the fundraising stuff, but this is the stuff uh, in operations, actually, uh, Sam is the, the president of the ASF. He'll talk, I assume, about operations. These are the different areas where we have vice presidents for various things. Uh, some of the, the boring stuff that we kind of talked about. We have a few committees, though, that do report to the board. It's 2019. Security is very important, especially in projects as widespread as the ASF. So the security uh, committee reports to the board because they are able to take an action as authorized by the board. If a project says, nah, I'm not gonna fix that. The security committee can take the board stick at them to say you have to fix it or something. Similarly, we care about financing. We care about record. We care about legal. So those are also board getting involved. We have time for this whole section. Eh, we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, Joan's going to talk a ton about getting involved. Uh, that's why we're here. We want you to be involved. We, we, I mean, I can't tell you how much my involvement at, at software foundation has, has given to me way more than I can ever give back. So uh, come join us, come chat with us. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of point out, I'm here for community. I'm here to chat with you guys. I don't know much Spanish, but I would love to chat with you. Seriously, stop by, introduce yourself, shake hands, give hugs. This is why we're here, right? Community over code. I mean, we are, heck, we're all friends. It's great. So, uh, you know, in the, in the, the sense of open source, 
I got most of my content from other presentations out there. Community.apache.org has a number of presentations. We actually treat community development as a project. Sharon Spears, she's going to talk all about that later. Uh, and you can see all sorts of presentations similar to this that go into much more detail. So that said, thank you guys greatly for your time.